Good day. Today I'm going to present a paper titled A Comparative Study for the Impact of IFRS Convergence on Accounting Quality Between Malaysian PLC and Chinese PLC. These are the uh, researchers okay, for this paper. First of all, okay, we look at the research backgrounds. In 2001, the International Accounting Standards uh, Board, IASB, so announced the developments of International Financial Reporting Standard, IFRS, to bring consistency to accounting standards and practices, regardless of companies or the countries. So in order to achieve a global accounting standard, in China, okay, China announced the IFRS convergence on February 15, 2006, and on January 2007, the MOF of China has issued a set of new Chinese accounting standards, which is called okay, uh, the uh, CS, okay, so has shown uh, tendencies to gradually move closer to IFRS. As a developing, a developing country uh, like China also, okay, Malaysia has a convergence with IFRS in 2008. In 2008, Malaysian Accounting Standard Board announced that okay, Malaysian Accounting Standard will be consistent with IFRS and on November 19, 2011, it released the uh, Frameworks of Malaysian Financial Reporting Standard MFRS in line with IFRS. So in recent years, because of the difference in the convergence process, okay, various countries have uh, converged to IFRS, but um, because of the different national conditions of every or uh, each of the country, so the convergence has produced a different progress in different countries. Domestic and the foreign researchers have conducted a lot of research to study the impact of earnings management on accounting quality after IFRS convergence. So different um, country found different uh, results. Okay, so many of the uh, of this uh, previous uh, finding new inconclusive results. As compared with China's, okay, Malaysia started IFRS convergence slightly late, okay, but fully converged to IFRS in 2012, which was earlier than China. So CAS is still gradually emerging, okay, merging with IFRS. PLC in developing countries, okay, might have a different uh, PLC's characteristics as compared to the developed countries. Therefore, okay, so we try to investigate whether Malaysians PLC okay, so uh, may have a higher accounting quality as compared with Chinese PLC. Okay, and uh, we further study on to uh, uh, on the relationship between the PLC's characteristics with accounting quality after IFRS convergence. Okay, so um, the significant of study here is okay. So we aim for okay to uh, to uh, to evaluate things okay whether the fully converged uh, whether the fully converged to IFRS can achieve the stated objective of fulfilling the financial reporting needs of emerging economies, and uh, this study will add uh, to the literature literatures by identifying the potential PLC special characteristics that are associated with the accounting quality after convergence. So um, according to Hilton and Obian, okay, 2009, they pointed out that, okay, so the measurement of the fair value of a company largely depends on the judgment of the management and need the decision making of the management. So when a manager, the agents, okay, obtain the company information, the information owned by the manager is not equal to that of shareholders, the principals. 
Okay, the manager may lick, uh, may take advantage to reduce the reliability of information, so resulting in a conflict of interest, which is called agency conflict. Okay, manager can convey information by making credible decisions, that is by signaling. So if the manager takes independent judgments on the principal agent problems, so between the different uh, capital providers, so and the separation of company risk taking, so uh, decision making and the control, so this will produce conflicts. So manager can use the discretions in fair value accounting to provide private information reliably. So such earning management will get positive results. So it's assumed that okay, agency theory is an important theoretical basis for the study of earnings management. So um, these are the uh, impact of the IFRS conversion on accounting quality. So um, different researchers okay, may come up with different results. Therefore, uh, what we mentioned earlier, so their result, their finding are inconclusive. So the first batch of the researcher found that okay, the level of earning management decreased okay, after IFRS convergence. Okay, they compare before and after. So they found that okay, after IFRS convergence, the level of earning management decreased. Okay? So uh, when earning management decreased, will show a high accounting quality. Okay, while the other batch of the researcher found that okay, so after IFRS conversion, the level of earning management increases, okay, which will bring a lower accounting quality. So we have developed of this uh, eight hypothesis here. First hypothesis is to study whether Malaysian PLC after fully converged to IFRS have a higher accounting quality as compared with the Chinese PLC which have not fully converged with IFRS. While H2 to H8 is to study the, the PLC characteristics, the relationship between the PLC characteristics and the accounting quality. Okay, so um, we look at the sample selection here. Okay, so the, we will select the companies okay, uh, from China, the PLC puppet listed company from Malaysia and China. Okay. So uh, uh, those uh, PLCs, okay, in the period of uh, of this research is from the years, okay, so from 2013 to 2019, because of Malaysia's, okay, fully converged into IFRS, okay, in 2012, okay, so the end of 2011 means uh, 2012, okay, so because uh, we are going to collect the data, okay, from the financial statements, so uh, we may not uh, uh, consider 2012, okay, we start from 2013, so to 2019. Okay, and then the data from China, okay, so we will uh, begin with the Asians, okay, company listed on Shanghai Stock Exchange and the Shenzhen Stock Exchange. While Malaysian PLCs are from the main market of Pusa Malaysia. Okay, so um. After that, okay, after we collect the data, we will divide the company's uh, data into two groups, okay? So into two groups, which is uh, uh, Malaysian PLC, uh, the, we call FC group, fully converged group, and China's, Chinese PLC, we call non-fully converged group, so NFC. Okay, so finally we have collected, okay? So all samples, uh, we have uh, 2,510, uh, uh, PLC and one uh, seventeen thousand five hundred seventy observations. Okay. So for the descriptive analysis, uh, we have uh, for data analysis. Okay, we will at first run the descriptive analysis. There's a correlation, and uh, we will conduct uh, uh, run a regression. Okay, so the regression models. Okay. So uh, have been developed here. So ABS DSCC is a dependent variable, okay, referring to absolute values of discretionary accruals, so which is the 
proxy for earnings management. Okay. And this is the summary of you know, the tables here. In this table is the summary of the proxy variables and the symbols. Okay, we have dependent variable earning management. Okay, we will use of the absolute value of discretionary accruals to be the proxy of earning management. Okay, the symbol is ABSDACC. Okay, while the other independent variables, okay, we have IFRS convergent, which is a dummy variables. Okay, so one is referring to Malaysian PLC, FC groups, while zero is uh, Chinese PLC, non uh, NFC groups. Okay, so the symbol is converge. For company size, okay, we use of natural log of total asset. Okay, simple is size. Capital structures, okay, we use of the leverage. Okay, so it's, um, um, which is the total liability over total asset. Profitability, we refer to return on asset. Okay, so which is the net profit over total asset. Growth here, we use of changes in the earning before interest and tax, so change, percentage change in income. Okay, so uh, we have growth. Prior year loss is uh, referring to one is uh, company have a, a prior year uh, net loss. Okay, zero is otherwise. While the changes in company debts, okay, is a changes in total liability. Changes in company share is a changes in ordinary share outstanding. So the, you can see the descriptive analysis. Okay, so the, um, we we found that okay, so Malaysian firms okay have a highest uh, mean value, showing that okay, so this the company in uh, the PLC in Malaysia okay may have a highest uh, level of earnings management as compared with the uh, Chinese PLC. Okay, so and uh, uh, Malaysian PLC are uh, characteristic. Uh, so look at Malaysian's um, uh, PLC, okay? So they are characterized that, okay? They are smaller size, okay? Smaller size, lower leverage, and uh, more profitable as compared with uh, Chinese PLC. Okay, this is uh, Pearson correlations, okay? So uh, the result. Well, the result of the regressions, okay, so you can see, so the, all variables are all uh, significant except the issue, okay? So except the issues, so all are significant in 1% in uh, levels, okay? So, um, uh, and uh, all are positive relationship with uh, uh, this uh, earning management except size. So the conclusion here, okay, so you may find that, okay, uh, first of all, earning management, okay, as uh, uh, the higher level of earning management is the lower level accounting quality and vice versa. Okay, so therefore, so the result here, the result, the third column is the result, okay, that we found, okay, uh, similar to previous slides. Okay, so uh, we are just opposite, <coughs> meaning that, okay, so our conclusion here is Malaysian firms, okay, have a lower accounting quality as compared with Chinese PLC after fully converged, okay, after Malaysia fully converged, okay. So Malaysia still have a higher uh, earning management with the lower accounting quality, okay. So it's uh, um, while others, okay, so others, we can see uh, uh, positive, okay, the larger the size, the better of the accounting quality. So the lower the leverage, okay, the better the accounting quality, okay. So, uh, um, and then uh, this is uh, the lower the profit, the better the quality, okay. So, uh, uh, this is also, okay lower the growth, okay, the better the quality, okay, so uh, like loss also, okay, so um, it is uh, 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 not consistent, okay, so uh, this is um, 
Well, the D issue and E issue is a no relationship. Okay, so uh, according to the result of this study. Okay, that's all for the presentations. Any questions?